Hi, and welcome to Old School Blues Guitar. It is time for the Classic Licks lessons for the months of July to September 2017. And this time around, we're going to take a look at the playing of Elmore James. And for the first time, I'm going to venture into a lesson on a slide player. Now, Elmore James used an acoustic guitar with a pickup and played through an amplifier, and that created his signature sound. And I see some guys on YouTube and even live who play with an electric guitar and play Elmore James stuff, but it really just doesn't sound you know, the way he did. It's hard to get that sound. I do not have an acoustic with a pickup, not yet at least. And so for now, I'm going to use my regular acoustic, which I have set up to play slide, and this is one I use for acoustic slide, playing you know, stuff by Tampa Red and, and guys like that. So anyway, we're going to start out in this in this lesson and just take a look at some of the basics of the Elmore James style and let's start first thing is the tuning and when you play Elmore James stuff uh, I've heard some people say he was tuned to open E but when I listen to the recordings it's in D and so open D tuning is, is what I use the first string that's going to be tuned to a D the second string is going to be an A third string, that's an F sharp. I have a tuner that picks up on the, on the sharps and the flats and it's really handy for tuning up to open tuning and cross note tuning and things like that. So that's an F sharp instead of a G, you got an F sharp. Your fourth string is the same, it's a D. And one way to tune yourself up to open D tuning is tune your fourth string and then tune the first string and then the sixth string to that string. You can do it lots of ways. The fifth string is still an A. So the fifth and the second strings are the same. The fourth and the first strings and the sixth string are all D. So when you're done, you strum an open chord. That's what you get. Now the slide plane, when I see other people teaching Elmore stuff on, on YouTube, mostly they focus on the signature slide lick, and we'll get to that and a lot more here in a little bit. But I want to start out and look at the foundation of his music, which is the rhythm guitar, and show you some things if you're playing by yourself or if you've got a second guitar player, some things you can do. So let's start out and take a look at the basic shuffle rhythm that was common to many of Elmore James' songs. And you get, let me just play one time through for you and then we'll, we'll, we'll talk about it. going to play that for now. I'm not going to throw in the turnaround. We'll get to that here in a minute. And there are some things you can do in there to spice that up a little bit. And so the basic rhythm, when you've got an open D tuning, when you're playing the shuffle rhythm, when you play it in E, you're using your ring finger and going back and forth between the second and fourth frets, but we are in open D. So all you got to do is pick the open sixth and fifth strings, and then finger, first finger, or whatever finger down on the second fret of the fifth string. Now as far as picks go, what do you do with your right hand? And I have no idea what Elmore James did. Uh, thumb pick, I have no clue. I use a flat pick if I'm playing Elmore style. If I'm playing like Robert Johnson slide or anything like that, I'll use a thumb pick and a finger pick. You can figure out your own way to do this. So for this lesson, I'm just using a flat pick with my right hand. So that rhythm, pretty simple to do. And then when you shift to the four, when you get right here, first finger is going to go to the fifth fret, and you're going to bar both the sixth and the fifth strings. And now you keep that right there as an A. And remember that position, because we're going to come back with the slide here in a little bit and show you some stuff you can do. And now we're going to take our ring finger and just go to the seventh fret, fifth string. <laughs> And 
that's how you play over the four, which would be in G if you're in open D tuning. And then to play over the five, we just take that same shape and slide it to the seventh fret. And there we go. So basically, to play that rhythm, you just need two positions. Elmore James's cousin, I think it was, Homesick James, one of the greatest blues names of all time. He played the rhythm guitar, I'm pretty sure, on a lot of his recordings. And so that's not Elmore. He's not playing the slide and the rhythm like Robert Johnson did or, you know, Tampa Red did. Instead, he's playing, you know, just the rhythm guitar is playing the, the bass stuff, the low end stuff, the rhythm. And then we'll see later what Elmore was up to. So anyway, so that's the, the, the foundation of so many of his songs is that bass rhythm. Now you may have noticed when I was playing over the four, I threw something in. And there are some little tricks that I've learned you know, from various people that you can do here. One is this rhythm sound. And I was listening to a lot of Elmore James, and for a while I thought this was something that more contemporary guitar players worked into the Elmore style. But in fact, I heard Homesick James doing this when he's over the four and over the five sometimes. Got this. <laughs> taking my second and third fingers and I'm bringing my second finger down on the sixth fret of the third string and I'm bringing my ring finger down on the seventh fret of the fifth string. And then what I'm doing is and you almost get like a horn sound going on. So you can do it over the five. even do it over the one by bringing your first finger to the third first fret of the third string and your second finger to the second fret of the fifth string. Now that's a, a cool idea you can insert with the rhythm. Another idea is one that I learned from a guy on YouTube using finger picks, playing the Elmore style more finger picking, but I've messed around with it and you can do it with the flat pick. And when he's playing over the five and I've heard it over the five and over the four, which would be the A and then the G. You hear something like this. Let me see if I can do it. And then he goes into this turnaround, which we'll get. And the idea here, we'll do it on the four so it's easier to see. I'm doing this shuffle rhythm. And then when I come back down, I'm bringing my ring finger on the 7th fret of the 5th string, and then I'm going to get the open 4th string, and kind of play that little thing, like this. It's kind of hard to do. There you go, something like that. With finger picks it's easier, because you can use the 1st finger and then kind of swipe up to get that last note. So you're playing this, you can play this kind of stuff over it. You can just play the straight shuffle. You can play the little chord thing. And then you can insert this little thing. Especially in his tunes, right when it's getting ready to go five from the four and then back to the one, because that's when he does the turnaround. Now you can do it over the five too. Just kind of doing the same thing. listen real carefully to the Elmore James songs, you know, the, the rhythm guitar isn't always just playing that simple shuffle. He's working some little things in to make it sound more interesting. So that is the first part of this lesson, the rhythm ideas, you know, what's going on behind Elmore James. And I've got a couple more things to show you here before we move into the, into the slide stuff.